Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message. This is where I talk about celestial transits, upcoming celestial transits and how to better prepare for them. So this is my take on uh, what's going on in the heavens during the next week or so. This one is for the week of uh, February 23rd to March 2nd, 2019. I have Georgia sleeping by the camera's edge, but apparently we're not interesting enough for her, so she's yeah she's resting. So, how was this Venus besieged by Saturn and Pluto for you? Did you feel judged? Did you feel that uh, suddenly cold and 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 strict? and all these kind of colors reappeared in your life whether it was regarding your relationships or whether it was regarding your job or your self-esteem all connected with venus so there was a time of judgment and now a time of transformation as venus conjuncts pluto lord of the underworld and that emotional lava that flows within us and causes these mysterious eruptions in our lives are they and what kind of time are we heading into that's the blessing about listening to astrology or knowing astrology studying astrology is that we can prepare ahead as Gordon Ramsay says so we're heading into a week in which things are going to cool down after the supermoon Intensity is going to lower on the one hand. On the other hand, intolerance is going to be heightened. The need to move forward is going to be heightened, especially regarding our relationships, work, assets, and self-esteem. Everything that draws satisfaction to us in our lives. Because Venus is fundamentally about our satisfaction in this material plane and all that there is in it including other people so we're heading into a time that this planet venus is ingressing into the sign of aquarius and the sign of aquarius intolerance towards other people in our lives or even towards ourselves not keeping up with pace, not walking forward fast enough is heightened. And we could be impatient towards other people in our life, especially the people we hold closest. This is a classical time for people to go off on extramarital affairs, to break up relationships or to meet new people new friends or new relationships it is seldomly so that both partners have the patience and the will and the opportunity to actually take the current um relationship and work within it to progress it work within it to upgrade it be flexible enough to allow it to move forward with the times. Because we cling to the old. We cling to that old promise we had from that person. Not recognizing that not only that that person has changed. Because we are in a space-time continuum and development is endless. That we have changed as well. <laughs> And suddenly, when we do recognize that we have changed, maybe they didn't change. And now that's the problem. So, there's a lot of rebelliousness there during the next couple of weeks. And we're heading into a new moon, not this week, next week, which is in Pisces, conjunct Neptune. I mean, this is a time to already prepare a space for the void, for the null, for God, for creator, for creation, for nature, for that 
anim um, that life force, that source within us. And understand that we're heading into a time that's going to be much more emotional on the one hand and sensitive, but unity is what's going to be on the table. And reuniting with something that is simpler, something that is older than words, something that is pure and more innocent and was there before, and in other words, more plain words, this is a time to make space for achievements of an internal nature and not an external one. People who are very uh, outside driven, achievement driven in this time could be frustrated and lost. But people who make a space to actually sit in silence inside and hear those delicate bells and, 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 and whispers that we do not always heed to in the hectic day life that we run will have great um, inspiration and a feeling of reuniting with source and great creativity a feeling of being cradled by the one and the all by something which is inter internal and eternal not connected with this space and time and yet st this space and time stems from it and that connection with divinity with that which is not transient could be a very spiritual experience for people in their lives so this could be a great time to actually do work forward on your spiritual, emotional, and internal realms. When I talk about things that we are loyal to during this week, people we are loyal to, especially our marriages, our families, we could be tested during this week. There's a square between Juno and the Sun. And there could be a feeling that something in our identity stands in contrast to those loyalties in our lives. And that we are, we are being challenged. We are being challenged to see how this works out. And Saturday and Sunday are the days that this going, is going to be heightened in. Monday the 25th, things are coming down. But there is this grand square on Saturday the 23rd in the sky, which can cause us to be a little bit more violent or um, controversial or rebellious and, and, and intolerant with our reactions. And we need to watch that and watch drama, especially in our relationships. And... On Monday, things are really chilling down with a beautiful kite in the sky, forming in the sky, with all these sextiles between the Moon and Saturn and Pluto and Venus and a trine to Mercury and the nodes. So, great day to take financial things forward, great days to uh, enjoy yourself and enjoy your five senses. It's a great time to actually take things in your career forward strategic things forward to actually work on your strength and inner strength and communicate things that once were incommunicable have the words where you did not find them before understand things that have been veiled from you before tuesday the 26th what can I tell you? It's a bit agitating. We want to be free, but it isn't there. There's a bit of a hectic... Yeah, you, you agree, Georgia? You agree? Yes? Off camera? Yes, you do. What about the relationship between men and women on that day? It's a bit sensitive, isn't it? Well, Georgia is incomplicent. So Tuesday the 26th, watch that. Watch your temper too. If you want to watch Mercury in the sky just after sunset, it's going to be glorious also on Wednesday the 27th. Um, 
it's in its greatest eastern elongation. You're gonna watch Mercury, that beautiful Georgia, with me. I promised. Okay, we're gonna watch Mercury just before, uh, just after sunset. No problem, Georgia. My pleasure too. I'm looking forward for that. Shut up. <laughs> Come here. Anyway, so. Mercury is going to be uh, glorious on the 27th as well. And it's a great day to enjoy yourselves and open up your minds, open up your horizons, learn new things, go spiritual and philosophical and gain new knowledge. It's also a good day to book a flight somewhere. Um, what else? What else? 28 is a sensitive day. There's a square to Chiron from the moon and to Mercury from the moon. It is an energetic day, though. Good day for taking out those frustrations in a physical manner. Go run, have sex, go to the gym, just, you know, um, do some housework. <clears throat> Friday the 1st, a lot of judgment in the sky intolerance with our communications watch it um, and the second the second is already much more progressive it's a Saturday and as long as we don't make a drama out of things it could be great for intimacy it could be great for um, doing things out of the ordinary that's about everything I had to say right now I'm planning a Saturn um, workshop. If you want to study the different signs and different placements of Saturn, of uh, the evolutionary meaning of Saturn, the karma that Saturn brings with it, the alignment needed that Saturn brings with it in every placement in the chart, the reoccurring um, themes in our lives and why they are reoccurring and how to better answer them. So I'm going to make a day workshop. It's going to be a couple of hours online and if you want to join just call me. We're still setting up a date. Um, and I'll give you all the details once you do. I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for forwarding these videos and commenting about them. And on behalf of Georgia and myself, I wish you a beautiful week and may you live long and prosper. Bye-bye.